Mucus is a thick substance that lines your respiratory tract. It serves a very important role because it helps to protect your lungs from infection and foreign particles. However, when the body produces too much mucus, it can lead to a number of problems including difficulty breathing, coughing, and a runny nose. If you've experienced excess mucus buildup, then you know just how frustrating it can be. With that said, most people are unaware that the foods they eat in their diet may actually be what's causing excess mucus to accumulate in the airways of your lungs, which is why in this video, we're going to look at the top foods that have been shown to cause an increase in mucus production. Be sure to watch until the end because there's one food that I think will surprise you. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The first culprit that we need to discuss is bread. Bread is a staple in many diets, which is why you may be saddened to hear that it can cause an increase in mucus production. One study found that bread consumption was linked to chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps, which are growths inside of the nose. The study found that people who ate more than two slices of white bread per day had higher rates of these symptoms. Researchers also found a link between bread consumption and asthma. Wheezing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath Next up on our list is processed meat. Processed meat is made up of meat that has been treated in some way to preserve it or enhance its flavor. This includes bacon, ham, hot dogs, sausage, and lunch meat. We included it here because researchers found that eating processed meat was linked with an increased risk of COPD, which is a condition that makes it more difficult to breathe. The study found that for every 10 grams of processed meat eaten per day, the risk of COPD increased by 7%. And one of the unfortunate side effects of KOPD is excess mucus production. Another food that we should mention is sugar. It's been well documented that sugar is not something that should be included in a healthy diet, but to add fuel to the fire, a study found a link between sugar consumption and increased mucus production. The study looked at the effects of sugar on nasal mucus in healthy people and people with asthma. It found that both groups produced more mucus after eating sugar. The study also found that people with asthma had a greater response to sugar, producing more mucus than the healthy participants. This suggests that sugar may play a role in exacerbating asthma symptoms and making the condition worse over time. Next up on our list is milk. It's no secret that milk is a good source of calcium and other nutrients, but milk has also been shown to cause mucus. A study found that drinking milk increased the production of mucus in the nose and throat. The study found that participants who drank milk had more mucus in their noses when they blew their nose, and they were also more likely to have a sore throat. Milk was also linked with an increase in the number of colds people experienced. Fast food is yet another type that we need to discuss. It's no secret that fast food is unhealthy, but many are surprised to hear that it can increase the production of mucus. A study found that eating fast food was linked with an increased risk of developing asthma. The study found that for every serving of fast food eaten per week, the risk of asthma increased by 18%. And as previously mentioned, one of the unfortunate side effects of asthma is excess mucus production. But while we're on the topic of things that are unhealthy, it leads to the next culprit on our list. Which is soda. Just like fast food, soda has also been linked with an increased risk of developing asthma and increased mucus production. The primary reason is that soda is loaded with sugar, and excess sugar has been known to cause inflammation. Inflammation can lead to a variety of problems in the human body, including sinus congestion and the overproduction of mucus. Also, when you eat sugar, it causes your body to release more inflammatory substances. One of those substances is histamine, which is also known for causing the release of mucus. And to make matters worse, most people drink soda while washing down that greasy but often delicious fast food meal. Talk about a double whammy when it comes to the buildup of excess mucus in your airways. But moving right along, the next food that we need to talk about is cheese. When we eat cheese and other dairy products, sometimes our bodies are unable to break down and absorb a property known as lactose. When this occurs, the body's natural reaction is to produce more mucus. This can even lead to other problems such as diarrhea, constipation, and nausea. Additionally, one commonality between many dairy products is the high level of saturated fat that they contain. 
Saturated fats are also believed to increase mucus production. Cheese is no exception, as it is made from the milk of cows, which contain a high level of saturated fat. Saturated fats cause the body to produce more mucus in order to protect itself from the harmful effects, and we couldn't have made this point clearer. Eggs are a common ingredient in many dishes and are a good source of protein and other nutrients. But unfortunately, some researchers believe that eggs can cause an increase in mucus production. If you're wondering why, one theory is that the properties in eggs can trigger the production of histamine, which in turn triggers the production of mucus in your body. Another possibility is that eggs contain a unique protein that can cause an immune reaction in some people. When the body perceives this protein as a threat, it creates antibodies to attack it. These antibodies also cause inflammation, which can lead to increased mucus production. Corn is another food that we need to discuss. It's a popular food item in many cuisines around the world, and while it may seem like a harmless ingredient, some researchers believe that it can cause an increase in mucus production. A study found that subjects who ate corn protein had increased mucus, along with more sneezing, itching, and a runny nose. The study also found that the subjects who ate corn protein were more likely to experience an asthma attack. While the study found that corn may cause an increase in mucus production, it is not clear if this is a major concern for most people. More research is needed in this area, but if you're worried about corn causing mucus buildup, you may consider eliminating it from your diet. Next up on our list refers to foods that are high in sodium. Unfortunately, most Americans are consuming far too much sodium in their diets. In fact, many of the common foods that we eat are packed with sodium, and that could be leading to an increase in the production of mucus. The reason is sodium causes inflammation in the body, which can lead to swelling. This causes the production of mucus to increase as a natural defense mechanism. A study found that participants who ate salty foods had more mucus and were also more likely to have a sore throat. Sodium was also linked with an increase in the number of colds people experienced. While it's important to include some salt in your diet, it's also important to be mindful of how much you're eating. If you're experiencing problems with mucus, it may be a good idea to limit your intake of salty foods. But real quick, if you don't mind. Millions of people around the world are looking for ways to get rid of excess mucus and phlegm in order to make breathing easier. Hopefully, the information that you learned in this video can help you do just that. With that said, keep in mind that we are not doctors, and this video should not be taken as medical advice. Again, this video is for informational purposes only, but hopefully, you learned a thing or two, and you're now one step closer to improving your overall health, and thus improving the overall quality of your life. If so, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to learn even more about this topic, we do have a full guide on our website. I'll drop a link to it right below this video, down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.